Hey everyone, welcome back to Resale Dojo where we work on growing our reselling businesses together. Now today, I'm gonna to start putting in a mini process to help myself get through my death pile. If you watched my last video where I talked about it and showed you guys my crazy death pile, I told you that I need to start taking various steps to get it down, get it manageable, and just get those listings out. Today I'm gonna get a makeshift photo station set up. This is gonna help me for bigger items and also clothing because I used to do clothing up on a wall upstairs and I mentioned to you guys last time that I can't do it up there anymore because that room is just filled with inventory and I have no space to do photo shoots for clothing up there. So I needed a new space and I'm gonna get it set up today. If you remember from my last video about my death pile, this is the table that I said I needed to clean off. I got everything cleaned off on it except for my son's Legos that are back there. And those are there because he's actually putting that set together. So I'm gonna let him have that section for right now until he gets it all put away. But there is plenty enough room here on this table for me to take pictures of bigger items and also do flat lays for clothes. And as you can see, it does fit big items. This iron fits on there really nice. Uh, I'm not gonna actually take a picture of the iron on this table this way I need to put a white piece of paper down but for items that are white this is going to work really well. Hey guys before I set up my station here let me know down in the comments what are you doing to get rid of your death piles or what processes you have put in place recently. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to set up my lighting to hopefully optimize some really nice pictures down here. All right, so I got two lights that I'm going to use. I got the one right there, the one right behind me here. Now these lights take a little bit of time to warm up. You just got to wait a little bit for them to get to their top brightness. That one right there is starting to whew, get blinding for me right now. But as it is warming up and getting to a brighter level, I'm going to get the white paper down so we can be ready to take some pictures once those lights are up and running. All right, so I got the setup right there. I got the two lights. I try to get them as close as possible to the items. Um, I feel like the brightness is okay with this, especially with the camera app where you know you can make it brighter for anything that you put in there, right? By just tapping and sliding up. I could adjust brightness where I need to on there, but it looks like it's going to be a decent enough setup for me right now. All right, I got my club set up. I'm gonna do a sample picture right now and see how it turns out. I got my iPhone app. I got them covering at the top for glare. Put it to square mode. Get a little bit closer. Tap, slide up for brightness. Take a picture. Now let's see how the thing turns out. So I'll put a picture up here so you guys could see how that picture looked. Um, it's looking okay. I think what I need to do is back there where the roll is, I need to roll that out farther because it's casting a bit of a shadow right around here. It's casting a little shadow there. I think you get a little bit more brightness if I push that back and get optimal pictures going forward. Another nice thing about this setup is if you need to take pictures of big items uh, or bigger items and you're not doing a flat lay, you could just put like a piece of cardboard that you could get from uh, the dollar store or Walmart. I think I got this from Walmart for like a buck or two bucks and I've had this for like two years and it's worked really well. So that is a nice background piece if you want to do something that's not a flat play. I'm going to do it for like helmets here and just uh, you can see there's shadows on it so I may need a little bit more brightness maybe one more light for my setup but I could put my brightness up and take some really decent pictures of some bigger, bulkier items here and have some nice space for them. Now, if you want to put together a down and dirty station like this, I'll put links to the items that I'm using or similar ones because I got like these lights a long time ago and we're using them upstairs. So I'm not sure if the same ones are listed, but I'll show you something similar that you guys could use as well. It's super cheap, super easy and Let's get our death piles listed together. Okay, for the rest of the day, I'm gonna get pictures done for my big items. I wanna get listings out there 
that will go on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, especially stuff for local pickup that are just big items I wanna get out of my house right away. And this is gonna give me a nice little station for it. Now for Facebook Marketplace, I may use a white background sometimes, but I'll most likely take pictures just on the wood because I feel like for Facebook Marketplace, you don't need to be as high end when it comes to like local pickup things. And it also doesn't make other people feel like, you know, you're a professional seller and they're more likely to buy from you if they're just gonna like, you know, come and buy from their local guy just down the street. So I'm gonna get some pictures done today so I could clear out some space for my death pile. It'll just make me feel a lot better. But the main thing is I wanted to get that space put together today for where I was gonna take pictures going forward. And I just wanted to be able to know, okay, I have a process, I know how to get set up, I know what it's gonna look like. So all that apprehension of not knowing what you're gonna do is out the window so you could just go forward and get it done. And that was the main thing for today was to clarify what my space is gonna look like, what tweaks I may need to make, and just start going at it and getting this death pile taken care of. And once I get all those bulky items done, I'm gonna be going for my clothing and I'll show you guys a video of all the clothes that I got in my death pile. I got some really good stuff in there and there's some really good bolos in there that I wanna share with you guys as well. So I will take you guys through that process when I start that. So thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know down in the comments what you are doing to get your death pile taken care of, what processes you have started to put in place and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.